After making the college football playoff, Texas was back this year, and they have some incredibly intriguing prospects for the 2024 NFL Draft. They had an elite defensive unit, but offensively, this is a team that had a ton of weapons. We talked about wide receiver Xavier Worthy, and today, we're going to be looking into the other wide receiver that the Longhorns had in Adonai Mitchell, a transfer from Georgia who really boosted his draft stock and is a guy who has some serious upside on the outside. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Let me know who you guys want to see us do a uh, spotlight on in the next video, and let me know what your guys' thoughts are on A.D. Mitchell. But without further ado, let's get into it. Mitchell battled some injuries in 2022. He had 9 receptions for 134 yards and 3 touchdowns on the season at Georgia. After winning 2 national championships with the Dogs, Mitchell transferred to Texas who had some really high expectations coming into the year. With a fully healthy season, Mitchell really impressed. He had 55 receptions for 845 yards and 11 touchdowns on the season for the Longhorns and is a guy who has really flown up my big board. Mitchell has really solid size at the wide receiver position. He has long arms and a really solid frame. He is 6 foot 4, 196 pounds and is a guy who still has a frame to add on more weight. He is tall and he's got some really solid length at the wide receiver position which are all things that I really liked about him. Mitchell also has some really good upside in terms of his speed. He has a really good initial burst off the line of scrimmage, and he has the speed to win down the field. The Kansas State game is the perfect example of this. On multiple instances, he was able to just run by everyone on the field. He is expected to run in the 4-4s, which at his size is incredibly impressive, and his speed is definitely a major selling point for him. Mitchell also has really solid hands. In both contested catch situations, and ones where he has created separation, he has consistently shown that he is able to high point the football and he's able to win at the catch point. He also has incredible ball tracking ability and is an incredible deep threat as well, and he shows some nice physicality at the wide receiver position. He has some really good upside as a receiver with his combination of his size, his speed, his ability to track the ball, and his hands. He's got everything you look for from a physical standpoint from a receiver, and I'm really impressed with how he looked. Mitchell's biggest area of concern with me is his separation package. He struggles to separate against more physical coverage, and on top of that, he has not shown a ton of upside as a route runner. He is not incredible at creating separation as a route runner, as he doesn't break out of his routes very quickly, and he really hasn't shown a ton of that in his collegiate career. This also takes away for some yard after the catch opportunities, because he doesn't create a ton of separation, and he's brought down pretty quickly after he makes the catch. While he is such a good contested catch receiver, I feel he is often too reliant on his physicality and his speed to win down the field, which has worked at the collegiate level, but I'm not convinced it's going to be as successful at the NFL level. I definitely think he needs to work on his separation and his route running if he is going to be an elite player at the next level because he's got all the tools you look for. If he could improve slightly as a route runner, he could be a game-changing wide receiver for a number of teams. I like A.D. Mitchell. I'm not as high on him as some people, but he is still a top 10 receiver in the class. He's a really good athlete. I love his speed and size combination, and I think he can be a really solid weapon in the NFL. He is my wide receiver 8. His lack of separation packages does push him down my board a little bit, and I would really like to see his route running improve because I think he has the potential to be one of the better receivers in this class, but as of right now, I just haven't seen enough from there. He is my number 39 player in the draft class, and I think he's going to be a stud. Mitchell, to me, needs to be in a vertical spread offense. I feel like this should go without saying, but with his size and his speed, Using him as a guy deep down the field could be incredible for him. This is a guy at Texas who is a really good deep ball threat. I think he can win down the field consistently with his speed, and an offense that pushes him down the field vertically will be how I think he's utilized best because he has the ball tracking ability, he has the size, and he has the speed to be a true burner at the NFL level. My comparison for Adonai Mitchell is Nico Collins. Both have excellent size and really good speed. Collins ran a 4-4-5 at the Combine, and I think Mitchell was going to end up running a very similar time. 
Collins has a slightly bigger frame, but Mitchell has the body to add on 10 to 15 pounds. Both are really good, strong, physical receivers, and I think Mitchell can be as impactful as Collins has been in Houston this season. Both have very similar skill sets and size, I'm going to be very interested to see how good A.D. Mitchell can be at the NFL level. A.D. Mitchell is a nice player. He has good speed, size, and he shows a lot of upside as an outside receiver. I think he has the potential to go into the first round, but I ultimately believe he's going to slip a little bit and be selected in the early second. Either way, I believe Adonai Mitchell will be a top 40 pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.